Hi, how's your dog doing? Linus learns about a bunch of strategies to become better at language learning, but he never implements them and never gets better. He doesn't even try. Marcus Aurelius does and succeeds and successfully learns as many languages as he wants. So uh, from my personal experience, I guess this is kind of like a video kind of to help one person out here. Uh, not necessarily, it can be very helpful to other people, but this is not exactly a response video. <laughs> like I'm not trying to start beef with anybody, but um, I guess this is to, to help someone who I consider to be a friend or at least an acquaintance. I don't know. I don't know if they're watching then. Please tell me what our status is right now. <laughs> Are we friends? <laughs> Um, but, so uh, I'm not gonna like read exactly what was written here because it, you know, it's private discord message type thing. Uh, but I was talking to Jan Lipamanka, pretty, pretty cool person. Really like them. Um, but they were just, they're talking about how, um, as a person in their position, which I'm not gonna like out them for everything. I don't know how comfortable they are with that being out there. So they said that they feel left out when I, sometimes when I talk about some of these techniques or strategies to be more productive or be better at language learning, stuff like that. So here I just kind of wanted to, I guess, address what some people can do when they feel like it doesn't work for them or they don't think they will or they don't think any of these strategies will work for them. I just want to you know, kind of help these people out. And maybe there's something that you're missing out on that you could totally be using, but you're not using as well. So this is applicable to everybody. I will say that um, for Jan Lipamanka, at least, pretty much the only thing I've recommended that they can do, at least up until the point that we had talked, which was probably like about a month ago. Uh, the only thing I'd mentioned that they could really implement was diet. So, yeah. It was improving diet for focus and whatnot. So. so what I think is most important is to remember that none of this is about being perfect. It's not about being perfect and implementing every single little thing that I mention. It's not about being perfect at language learning and focus. I don't even do everything that I say in my videos. What you should do is just try to do what you can or do the most effective things. That's what's really important. And also, please actually try it for a little bit before brushing it off. Like, I'm not even, like, speaking to Lipa Monk at this point. Like, I'm just saying in general, like, at least try this stuff. Unless you really have, like, some condition where you can't, like, you really cannot, like, just try it. Like, for Yanli Pimanka, like, I... I know that they've brought up some stuff where they kind of can't. So, again, I'm not going to go, like, too deep into that because that's not my personal stuff to tell. <laughs> but, yeah, like, I'll, I'll give them a pass. <laughs> but for most people, try it for, like, a week or two at least. Like, no one's going to be perfect at meditating their first time. Just try it for two weeks. Just try making a schedule for a week. Just try improving your diet for a little bit just try this stuff and if it really doesn't work after a while then you can kind of say maybe it doesn't work but just try it like it's not gonna hurt you all it can do is help you it's not gonna hinder you from doing anything so what i would recommend to just about anyone who watches my videos is to not necessarily go for every single little thing that i talk about so if you um are kind of like in the self-improvement type space i guess kind of You've probably heard of the 80 20 rule which if you don't if you don't know what that is essentially that means that 80 percent of tasks will get you 20 percent of the rewards and 20 percent of tasks will get you 80 percent of the rewards or like the benefits a way i could apply that to uh, my youtube channel is that the 80 percent of tasks are kind of like looking at every single thing in the analytics or making sure i have all the edits perfect or changing my channel banner or my profile picture something like that like if I have time for that, sure I can do that, but a 20% of tasks that are incredibly important for making videos are having good ideas and outlining them. So that's actually pretty important because if it's a bad idea, no one's gonna watch, even if the title and thumbnail are perfect. Next is actually recording the videos, that's a part of it as well. I need to sit down, record, make sure I have everything down, and then making sure that it's of slightly higher quality by cutting out a lot of like the mistakes that I make or by adding in elements that I need, like pictures, stuff like that. Like that's why I have reduced the amount of editing I've had in these videos because that's kind of part of the 80% of tasks. It just, it takes a lot longer to do for not as much of the benefit because I can get more videos out with more information, which is more valuable than just the edits. So that's why I've kind of shifted away from all the editing. So how you can apply that for this is to choose 
probably like five. I mean, you can choose as many as you want, but for most people, I'd probably recommend just like five things you can add because you also want these to be habitual and it's kind of hard to add more than about five or six things to your life. Like it's kind of hard after that, like immediately, like you can always add them on later, but it's hard to just add like 16 things to your life immediately. It's better to add five things and add like another five things. You have to get really consistent in those first five things and stuff like that. So I'd recommend that you choose like three to five techniques that I have talked about and then try to implement them. So for example, uh, you could try improving your diet, exercising more, uh, scheduling, and that would be three things. Um, you could try getting better sleep. You could try meditating and you could try um, journaling for the motivation like, like talk about how grateful you are for language learning to have the motivation to learn or to learn a language. And just try a couple of things and just things that you think would be the most effective, not the easiest, the most effective, and try to implement them. Then try them out for, I'd say, at the very least, two weeks. I'm not saying you're going to be perfect after those two weeks, but you should, no, you will see progress. Like, if you don't see progress after two weeks, I think that's very odd. And there might be times where you don't even realize it. Like for example, with the whole like dieting and like fasting type thing, I never really realized that. Like I always felt like, oh, I can always do work after I eat. But then I actually try it and I realize how sluggish and deem and unmotivated I feel. And I, I just feel terrible. Like doing it when I'm fresh and like I'm doing right now, actually, I'm doing it like for, this is the first thing I'm doing today. Fasted, fresh, clear-headed that's what's best that's the optimum way to do it so what are some actual things that you can kind of implement to keep this in mind and to actually keep these techniques going so first off the goal is not zero to one it's not like an on and off switch where you don't do it or you do it and you're perfect it's not like that it's more like zero to 100 there there's like a there are levels in between you can be at like 10 for meditating or 90 for your diet like it's not it's going to be different but if you've gotten 10 percent better at something because you've implemented one thing that's improvement we're not going for you to be perfect we're just going for some improvement here like if for example uh for diet for optimum focus and learning if you went from eating i don't know mcdonald's for every meal of the day and now you've gone to replacing that with one healthy meal every single day that's good improvement now of course we're going to want to progress but don't just think that you failed because you're not perfect. You've still improved. That's what will keep you going once you see the improvement, not seeing perfection. Seeing perfection will just kind of make it feel not that seeing perfection is bad, like you've obviously improved, and you'll be happy then. You'll also be happy by improving and seeing how much better you're getting. Also remember, the goal is optimization. You can still accomplish things without this. Like, you can do that. But again, this is for optimizing learning and language learning. This is not the only way you can do it. And also, you can make edits to what I say. Like, if there's something I've mentioned where you want to change it a little bit to suit your life better, go ahead. Just make sure that it's as effective, or at least you're not losing too much of the effectiveness of the task. All right, I hope that video was helpful for you. I, know, I thought it was pretty helpful. I think it addresses an issue that can happen with these types of videos where I'm giving you advice for this kind of stuff. So still have a lot of videos to record for this session. So maybe one of the videos in the next coming weeks, you'll, my voice will sound dead because I have, I've had to record six videos in one session. <laughs> um, but all right, tell your dog to die.